Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you had a great 2023. And in 2024, I hope God blesses you more. Hey, everybody. Welcome back into another episode of American Rod Shop. My name is Solon, and this is the very first video for 2024. And in this video, I've got you a lot of classic cars that are nice. And not only are they nice, but they're very reasonable, very affordable cars. And I think you're going to like all 10. Plus, tonight, we're also going to draw for the winners of the six Hot Wheels from the Christmas giveaway video. Stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video with number one. One. Like many of you, I grew up seeing my first beach surf wagons on the covers of the Beach Boy albums, plus the monogram model car kits when I was a kid, building those as well. This first car is kind of a throwback to that era. I think you're going to like it. 1950 Plymouth Suburban 10 Woody, listed in Ruston, Louisiana, for $20,250. Up for sale is this beautiful, rare 1950 Plymouth Suburban 10 Woody Classic California Styled Surfer Wagon. This car has been lightly restored and has only been driven 30,000 miles since the restoration. It is powered by the original flathead six-cylinder engine with a three-speed manual shift on the tree and runs and drives fantastic. The body has been painted in a beautiful gloss black color and then designated body parts have been professionally custom painted to resemble real wood exterior parts to become what is known by collectors as a tin woody. To give it that classic look, a rare Fulton exterior sun visor has been added along with a vintage wood roof rack and new coker wide white wall tires. The glass is all good and a mild custom era correct tan leather interior really sets the look off. The seller also had the headliner redone with slatted wood, as can be seen in the original Woody cars from that era. This is a very rare wagon that's a great eye catcher and always draws a crowd when parked in any cruise in. The seller is asking $20,250 or best offer for this beautiful 1950 Plymouth Suburban 10 Woody. Now, if you are still looking and have not found your dream car yet, then I advise you to go over and check out our other great videos. There are still a lot of great cars for sale in those videos, and who knows, you just might find it over in one of those videos. This one is a Lincoln Continental 1941 model. Don't see many of those roundabout, especially two-door hardtop models. Check this one out. It's a great price and a good looking car as well. 1941 Lincoln Continental listed in Georgetown, Indiana for $12,000. For sale is this rare two-toned 1941 Lincoln Continental sedan that was driven only 300 miles on the engine since it was restored. The body is rust-free, super straight, dentless, and the paint is in amazing condition, and all glass is good as well. Unfortunately, the seller's dad, who was in the middle of restoring the car, passed away, and the seller has lost the desire to finish the restoration. The car is powered by the original V12 and three-speed manual transmission. This is a solid car to finish the restoration with. It will need new tires and the interior completed. 
The car was running four years ago when they had to stop work on it due to his father's passing. The buyer will need to go through all systems, but it should be easy to get the original V12 back up and going again. This is a very rare and desirable classic car that has been garage kept most of its existence. The seller is asking $12,000, but is considering offers for this beautiful two-toned blue 1941 Lincoln Continental sedan. Because of all the time needed in tonight's video for the giveaways, we've only got one trivia question tonight, and that is this. On the 1966 AMC AMX car, what does the AMX stand for? If you know the answer to that, drop it in the comments. No cheating by Googling, and we'll check the end of the video and find out who got it correct. Three. Some of you viewers out there had asked me if I could find the next car for you, and I did. I think you're going to enjoy this one because it is rare and not too bad priced either one. Still 100% original as well. 1958 Pontiac Chieftain Safari Wagon, listed in Cookville, Tennessee, for $13,500. Up for sale is this extremely cool 100% original 1958 Pontiac Chieftain Safari Wagon. The design of the Pontiac Chieftain was unique for 1958, and in fact, this was a single year generation. So it gets even more impressive when you know that only about 2,900 wagons were produced. This Pontiac runs and drives great with its original V8 engine and automatic transmission that shifts just as it should. All electrical components work well, and all gauges work. All new brake lines and wheel cylinders have been installed to ensure road worthiness. The body is overall very good, but it does have some rusty spots in the doors and a few other places. The original paint is old and faded, and the original interior is complete, but does have some minor splits. Overall, it would not take much to make this very rare 1958 Pontiac Chieftain Safari Wagon a great and rarely seen cruiser. The seller is asking $13,500 or best offer for this 1958 Pontiac Chieftain Safari Wagon. And guys, as I said, I think this would make one great California-style beach surfer wagon. Okay, let's pause for a moment and draw for this Hot Wheels 1955 Nomad, one of the six Hot Wheels that were given away in the Christmas video. Let's go over to YouTubeCommentPicker.com, see who won. Jeffrey Overlay, congratulations, Jeffrey. You have won the Hot Wheels 55 Nomad. You've got seven days to contact me at the email address AmericanRodShop at Yahoo.com, and you'll get details on how to receive your totally free prize. Four. Now, the next car, I don't know if it's so much as rare as you could expect, but I've never seen one in real life. Let me know if you have in the comments. I think you're going to enjoy this one, and it's a fastback. Not a Mustang, but a fastback. 1952 Plymouth Concord two-door fastback, listed in Gainesville, Georgia, for $8,500. Up for sale is this rare burgundy 1952 Plymouth Concord two-door fastback street rod. Original production was at $49,000, with not a lot of these surviving since then. This Plymouth is powered by a 302 engine with an automatic transmission, and it runs and drives great. It has modern upgrades, which include disc brakes and power steering. The body is solid with a glossy burgundy paint job complemented by a matching custom burgundy velvet interior. All glass is good, and everything electrical works great. A very dependable car to take out on any outing and gets a lot of interest at car shows. Trades are welcome of equal value or greater. The price is a great deal for the amount of car that you get. So the asking price is of $8,500 is firm. Let's pause again to give away Hot Wheel number two, which is a 64 Lincoln with gold trim. I'm going to go over to YouTubeCommentPicker.com as usual. Find out who won this one as well. The winner is user 
FB5Y2. Congratulations, user FB5Y2. Contact me at AmericanRodShop at Yahoo.com for details, and I'll give you information on how to receive your totally free prize. Now, I haven't had many Volkswagens in the past few videos, but I could not pass this one up. It was just too beautiful. It's a little bit pricey, but for the restoration that's been done to this car, I don't think you could afford to put that much money into one and still come out as cheap. Check out this VW convertible. It's rare. 1964 Volkswagen Beetle convertible listed in Franklinton, North Carolina for $20,000. Up for sale is a very nice, well-kept, rare 1964 Volkswagen Beetle convertible. This VW runs and drives great and is a real eye catcher. This car has had a frame off restoration in which any bad body metal parts have been professionally replaced and is sound and solid. All rubber and wiring has been updated and good to go. This car has had a fresh rebuilt transmission with only 50 miles on it and the engine has been converted to modern fuel injection. This VW has lots of rare expensive items and new parts added such as a new rear anti-sway bar, WW2 no-tech lights on the front and rear, front flying VW emblem, swan neck mirrors, and new tires. All modifications are bolt-on and reversible if desired. The two-tone black and red paint and the Stay Fast canvas top are both only five years old and still look new. The seller is asking $20,000 or best offer for this 1964 Volkswagen Beetle. Okay, let's draw for prize number three, which is a Matchbox 1970 Ford Ranchero. We're going to go again to, you know where, YouTubeCommentPicker.com and find our winner. User 4i4GG. Congratulations, user 4i4GG. Contact me in seven days at AmericanRodShop at Yahoo.com and I'll give you details on how to receive your free prize. If you enjoy this channel and are looking for a way to support it, one of the best ways is to check out the American Rod Shop store. You can find the details and the link to it over in the video's description. There in the store, you'll find lots of t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, mouse pads, posters, and many more items. And the sale from these items goes back into supporting this channel. Six. Now, muscle car may not be the first thought that comes to your mind when you hear about a 1968 Ford Galaxy 500, but I think the next car is going to change your mind on that thought process. 1968 Ford Galaxy 500, listed in Ruskin, Florida, for $19,995. Up for sale is this dark burgundy 1968 Ford Galaxy 500, powered by a built 390 CID V8 with 428 heads, aluminum intake, dual four-barrel carburetors, headers, and a four-row aluminum radiator with electric fans. This powerhouse is backed up by a C6 automatic transmission that shifts through a floor-mounted B&M shifter and has only been driven 69,000 miles since the car was built. It has been updated with four-wheel Wheelwood disc brakes, new shocks and springs, and new Magnum 500-style wheels with radial tires. It has a Mustang hood scoop and custom rear spoiler, making this Galaxy like no other you've seen. The interior has black racing-style bucket seats, a stock back seat, a roll bar, harnesses, and an engine control panel. Inside, you'll find a red carpet, new door panels and dash. This car has too many features to list here, and it is a lot of car for not a lot of money. This vehicle is for sale at a dealership, and is available for viewing by appointment only. Sellers are asking $19,995 for this 1968 Ford Galaxy 500 muscle car. And guys, you know when they sell it at a dealership, the price is negotiable. Okay, let's draw for the Matchbox 1941 Cadillac convertible. Go over to 
YouTube comment picker.com. Find out who won this one. Pat G2308. Congratulations, Pat G2308. You've got seven days to contact me within, and I'll get you details on how to receive your prize. Contact me at American Rod Shop at Yahoo.com. Seven. Now, here's one of the rarest cars I've probably had on my list in a while. It is a Studebaker, and it is very affordable and in great shape as well. Stay tuned for this one. think you're going to fall in love with this one like I did. 1949 Studebaker three-window business coupe listed in Mamaronek, New York for $6,500. Up for sale is a rare off-white 1949 Studebaker Champion two-door business coupe with an original 61,836 miles on it. This car runs and drives great, and with the exception of some reupholstered door panels, this car is 100% original condition. It is powered by the original 164.3 cubic inch I6 engine and manual transmission that produces 78 horsepower. Only 365 1949 Studebaker Champion Business Coupes were produced that year, making this car one of the rarest Survivor Studebakers existing. Overall, this coupe is solid, with a very straight body and decent original paint. The floor pans and trunk area are solid as well. The original seat covers are good and usable with only minimal wear. The glass is good, but the windshield does have some light fogging. The asking price on this car is reasonable enough to allow for any new restoration costs. A rare and desirable daily driver that would definitely draw a crowd wherever it goes. The seller is asking $6,500 or best offer. And guys, that leaves plenty of room to go ahead and spruce this thing up a little bit, making this rare car shine even more. Okay, let's do the drawing for this little Matchbox 1949 Curtis Convertible. I'm going to go over and check it out and find out who won it. Sunset Tech 4182. Congratulations, Sunset Tech 4182. You have seven days to contact me at American Rod Shop at yahoo.com. And I'll give you details on how to claim your prize. Eight. Restoration Rod does not come into mind when I think of the very next car up on the list, but this one fooled me. It was so well tastefully done. It looked like an antique truck. I never would have thought it had a bigger engine than what came in it originally. 1926 Ford Model T truck listed in Vestal, New York for $9,500. Up for sale is this beautiful, rare, black, C-cab style 1926 Ford Model T truck. This truck does not have the original drivetrain, but the control layout is still very close to original. This truck is powered by a 1983 Jeep 2.51 engine with a GM Powerglide transmission, which is coupled up to a Chevy S10 rear end. Hydraulic brakes have been added to operate the rear brake drums, and the handbrake is hooked up and functioning as well. A manual steering box has been added for better steering control. Body-wise, this truck is solid with a decent paint, and all the original wood has been replaced with new wood. This truck has all the charm of an original-looking 1926 Ford Model T with the reliability of a modern truck. This Ford truck runs, drives, and stops great, and is currently driven daily. The seller is not interested in any trades and is firm on the asking price of $9,500, and I can't blame him. That's a lot of truck for, in my consideration, a little bit of money. Okay, let's draw for the sixth and final prize for this video. This is a Matchbox 53 Buick convertible. Now, I inadvertently called this a 54 model in the last video, but I apologize about that. It is a 53. Okay, let's see who won this one. Okay, I'm an old Southern boy, so I know I'm going to butcher this name. I'm just going to go with Mikhail Quist, 5734. Congratulations, Mikhail. You have won the 53 Buick Matchbox car. 
Contact me at AmericanRodShop at Yahoo.com for details, and I'll get this car out to you as soon as possible. Nine. Up next is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to own a 1929 Chevy Coupe, which are very hard to come by. They're not rare. They're very hard to come by. This is a three-window model. I think that is very, very fairly priced. 1929 Chevrolet International AC Coupe listed in Mount Morris, Illinois for $8,000. Up for sale is this rare 1929 Chevrolet International AC three-window coupe. This coupe was assembled at the St. Louis assembly plant and the original production numbers for this model have been lost with time. The ones left existing today are still far and few between. Powered by the original inline six-cylinder engine and manual transmission, this coupe runs and drives and has been driven 3,555 miles since the motor was gone through. This car is presently at the beginning of its restoration stage, but the body is very solid with little if any rust and any bodywork that was needed has been completed. The coupe has been primed and is ready to be painted. The interior is usable but still needs restoring and electrical wiring needs replacing. Bumpers also need rechroming but it has good tires as well. A great candidate for restoration completion, asking a low $8,000 or best offer for this 1929 Chevrolet AC International Coupe. And guys, for the amount of work that's done, I think this is a really good price for a good project car that runs and drives. Before we get to the final car in the count, just want to remind you, if you would, Drop in the comments what was your favorite car in this video and why. These are always fun to read, and I always like everybody's take on what they saw. Up next is a classic Studebaker that defined the era of the 1950s. This is probably one of the most beautiful Studebakers that was released during the 1950s, and I think you will agree on it as well. 1958 Studebaker Silverhawk. Listed in Pikeville, Kentucky for $16,200. Up for sale is a very nice, light, tan colored 1958 Studebaker Silverhawk that runs and drives great. It is powered by a 289 V8 engine coupled to an automatic transmission and has been driven only 300 miles since the engine was gone through. The paint job displays nicely and is very glossy. The new brown interior has been restored back to the period correct design and looks amazing and is very comfortable. All glass is good, all electrical components work well, and it has had new gauges installed to complete the interior package. The final touch of new white wall tires really enhances the overall look. It's had some patchwork in the trunk area, but shows nicely and is ready for a cruise in. This car is being sold by a dealership and it comes with a clean title. Seller is asking $16,200 or best offer for this beautiful 1958 Studebaker Silver Hawk. Okay, how many of you got the answer right for what the AMX stood for whenever you saw a 1966 AMC AMX sports car? It stands for American Motors Experiment. All right, all right, all right. That wraps up the very first show for 2024 for American Rod Shop. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. May God bless each and every one of you. 2024 is going to be a big year for the channel. I will see you guys in the next video.